The leak is having a growing impact on tourism in the Gulf. CBS News correspondent Cynthia Bowers is in Destin, Florida with more. Good morning, Cynthia. Good morning, Betty. Just a few feet behind me, you can see some of the thousands of feet of boom being laid across the Florida panhandle this morning in an effort to protect fragile estuaries, fishing spots, and popular tourist areas. Over the weekend, coin-sized tarballs began showing up in Fort Walton Beach, Destin, and as far east as Panama City, where the Gulf, the Coast Guard now says there is an oil slick less than 10 miles offshore, and what happens with that is going to be largely dependent on wind and weather. Officials in the Sunshine State say they they are fighting a two-headed monster, a possible ecological disaster, and what they fear is an almost certain economic one. Visit Florida is running ads pro promoting the clear beaches and the clean water, and FloridaLive.com is actually running live webcam video of various beaches to show potential tourists that they're still largely pristine. With 770 miles of its 1,600 plus miles of coastline along the Gulf, Florida says just a 10% drop in the revenue of tourist revenue for these 23 coastal counties could cost the state 2.2 billion dollars. So here perception may matter more than reality. Betty. All right, CBS is Cynthia Bowers and Destin. Thank you for that. A lot happens early on the early show. Weekday mornings on CBS.